Hey everybody, I'll be starting this project with six of these one gallon paint stir sticks and then this variety of red, white, and blue scrapbook paper. I'm going to leave that blue and white star one aside and just focus on the red and white scrapbook paper. So all I'm doing is grabbing one paint stir stick for each of those scrapbook papers. And all I'm doing is tracing the paint stir stick on the back of the scrapbook paper. Once I had those traced out, I'm actually just using my Cricut paper cutter to cut these down to size, but you could just use a regular pair of scissors as well. And once I had those all cut up, now I'll be using some Mod Podge to adhere all of the scrapbook paper onto the paint stir sticks. So you want to make sure that you don't go too heavy with the Mod Podge, a nice even coat is all you really need. And then once the Mod Podge is applied, you want to just place a scrap of paper right on top, smooth it out with your fingers to make sure there are no air bubbles. And once all of the scrapbook paper was applied, you want to allow that all to completely dry. Once that Mod Podge is completely dry, if you have some excess scrapbook paper along the edges, I'm just using a 60 grit sanding block. You could find these at Dollar Tree or Home Depot. And I just go all around the stir stick and just start sanding off that excess scrapbook paper. And once that was complete to seal and protect the scrapbook paper, I just went over it again with another layer of Mod Podge. And then you want to allow this all to completely dry. Once that was completely dry, I just put the paint sticks going red, white, red, white, and I just flipped those face down. And I'll be using these regular popsicle sticks applying some of this wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree with a mixture of hot glue and this is going to hold all of those paint sticks together. How adorable is that? So now go ahead and put that aside and with that star paper all I'm doing is drawing a star on the back of it and then just cutting that tracing right out. And once that is traced out, I'm just applying some more Mod Podge on the top left corner. And then I'm just applying that star right on top of where I placed down the Mod Podge. And then just went back over it with more Mod Podge to seal and protect that star. So here's a fun and easy way to color those wooden beads. So I just put the color of my choice. I'm using brown acrylic paint in a Ziploc bag. Spray it down with some water, give it a shake, put those beads inside, give that a shake, just dump out the beads and allow them to completely dry. And then I'm just placing them on some jute string. And then to attach this beaded hanger, I just flipped that sign face down, applied some hot glue, and just held the ends of the jute string down. And just for some extra support, I did just fold up a scrap piece of ribbon, used my staple gun, and there you go, guys. How cute and simple and super inexpensive was this to make? I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.